All right, all right, all right. It's Jared here from Crypto Plant. How's everyone going? The vibes are good today. We got some green on the charts, although we haven't recovered fully from the massive sell-off. Uh, it's good to see some price action on the chart. So we're going to be taking a look at a couple of our favorite coins, and the first one today is the One Harmony chart, and just see where we're heading next based on the correction. Put the fibs on it again, and just basically. Uh, outline the bull case again because uh i think the bear the bear move is mostly over uh well fingers crossed it's mostly over anyway but please as always if you could do me a favor and like the video i would love that support uh, and you could also do me a favor if you're new to the channel and subscribe and click the notification bell too if you desire all right, so I'm going to stick on the weekly charts because I like the weekly charts. They're not as messy, you know, you kind of, you get a real feel for it, you know, good run up in price, pull back in price, you know, trying to break through retracement levels, really kind of got bullish there, then bang, correction with the rest of the market, right? So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly simple, it's a fairly simple equation on this one. We need to break and like I was always saying we need to break through and close above this 19 cent level we need to close a candle above that 19 cent level uh, not just wick up there so we need to get another candle body close up in the 20s and then kind of move on forward so that's what we need to do to break out on the one harmony chart but I guess now we've had a bigger dip you know and, and I do like to do the the full kind of uh, Fibonacci retracement from wick to wick sometimes just to see you know what the the uber bullish move could be um, and in this case um, it's probably going to get us a little bit further of an extension so we're going to get out there to that 79 cent level so um, that's you know that's the next kind of measured move you know the next kind of uh, full retracement or well, full extension of this of, of, of this retracement so once it retraces all the way through and I'll just chuck that back on there again and and kind of show you what what has to happen so um, at the moment the correction you know and if, if we reset it um, it's kind of finding you know nearly hit the 0.38 and 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 has kind of tapped back there so we need to kind of see it first kind of get up to the the 50 percent level which is you know 15 cents and then see what happens then hopefully it can kind of push through 618 the 702 is always going to be the hardest one to break through um but then yeah there's still some resistance there probably at that 786 as well so once you know, once we get, like I say, once we get a candle body close up around that 786, that's when I would be like, yes, there's there's a breakout. But I'm still cautious because in previous uh, bull markets or, you know, between alt seasons, these consolidations have played out a lot longer. Um, in the past, you know, if you look back to, say, XRP, you know, you've got hundreds of days in consolidations between pumps. Um, so it's not out of the question that it takes a long time, but we know the targets we're looking for. And for me, the first one is 79 cents towards a dollar, a dollar 44, um, on the upper end of the scale there. Now, anything can happen. Um, we've proved that things can be both uber bullish and uber bearish, uh, in this market. So I think if anything is is going for us in our favor for those that have held through and uh you know the diamond hands crowd uh the volatility is a good thing you know going back to that analogy the further the volleyball is pulled underneath the water the further it pops out right so although the the pain of the downside volatility can sometimes be a little bit scary and probably not for you all that have been staking it because you're just sitting there earning the or earning the one token anyway but yeah the volatility can be scary when you look at your portfolio and it's gone down but the thing is that if it's volatile to the downside in the bull market it can be super volatile to the upside and we've seen that today so let's just um let's just have a quick look at what we've done and and how strong of a bounce back this was so 
the dip of the dip down there and then we're up to here. So 109% kind of reversal move, which is pretty strong. Um, you know, there, there's definitely going to be more sort of like stronger bounce backs there um, because things dipped lower below their 200 day moving averages. But um, 109% is a pretty good bounce back. You know, if you did catch that bottom as a trade, that's a, that's a brilliant trade right there, you know, or a br brilliant kind of, you know, re-entry or uh, re-accumulation point to kind of buy in down there at where were we like just under six cents. You know, I remember seeing it at six cents going, why did I buy it the day before at eight cents? You know, and uh, anyway, uh, it's bounced all the way back up there to 11 cents at one point in the day. So it's nearly like you could double double your money in under a, in a few hours there. So that, that's pretty good for One Harmony. So uh, yeah, I, li I like it. I like One Harmony. I've always liked One Harmony, and I like it even more every time it shows strength on these bounce backs, right? Because to me, that is um, that's that's what I want to see. You know, I don't want to see it kind of bounce back twenty percent. You know, and that's it. You know, like like some other other projects here um, that aren't doing as strong on the bounce back. You know, I want to see this thing kind of really, really kind of fire away. And, and and just what make waves, you know. I want people to be so desperate for One Harmony that they'll pay anything for it because that's when we'll be all scaling out, right? So um, it's good that it's kind of strong. It's good that it's not super popular. It's not like a mainstream top 20 coin yet because there's a lot of room to grow, which is great. So I'm going to leave that one there. That's the kind of update on One Harmony, uh, you know, Got, you know we've got some we've got some clearance to do I'm not saying that it's going to fire all the way through that line but if it does and if it gets up there this it's the same case as before the big dip is that 19 20 cent candle closes is what we want to see for it to push on its way push its way on out of there you know if it keeps finding a resistance there then that's fine there's just a fight between bull and bears but you know I guess if we're at the start of the week big green candle it's all green on a small candle so that's all buyers you know like uh, it, it's, you know it's not all buyers but it's it's a majority of buyers the fact there's such low volume so far and the candles move that far means that all the exhausters all the sellers were exhausted here and then the buyers come back in right so that's a good thing and hopefully you all were one of them I'm going to leave that one there because I've got a couple more short updates to do and I'm going to do them in separate videos so um Game credits will be the next one. So I'll catch you in that video. I've been Jared. This has been Crypto Plan. Please like the video. It does help me out a lot. And uh, hope you're trading and you're holding and everything is going well. Bye now.